Hello and welcome to this training on Google Docs. Don't let the Drive logo uh, confuse you. We are doing a training on Google Docs. Uh, we're going to start here in Drive and first just create our own doc and then uh, we're going to look at two different ways we can kind of access and create them and then a little bit of an overview of Google Docs. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this new button right here and I'm going to go ahead and go down to Docs and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go ahead to create a, a new Google Doc. I'm going to go back real quick to my drive. I do want to show you when I do go to new and do go to new Google Docs, I can open from a blank document or if I click on template, I will open it from a template. Um, you have a template, you may have a template gallery uh, depending upon um, your uh, workplace or you just have access to some general templates. Okay, um, we're going to jump back to our Google Doc that we just created. And you can see this is entitled Document. So, one of the first things I like to do is uh, give it a title. Um, we just click on up there, and my title is My Second Google Docs. Not really my second Google Doc, but um, there is the title. By the way, um, another way if I wanted to go ahead and create a, uh, a Google Doc or access a Google Doc. I can do it if I go here and I click on Docs or I go to docs.google.com. Um, this is like uh, uh, specifically just gonna show my Docs. Um, and so you can see here is my uh, Docs that I've created in the past. Um, I also have again the template gallery that is up here as well. And I can expand that template gallery if I want to and so from here, if I'm going to create a, a Google Doc, I just click right here and I click blank. Or I can come here and I can open my second Google Doc, which is actually already opened. Um, so here's my second Google Doc. If you've used word processing before, um, it should look fairly similar. One thing that you should notice is, of course, the big share button over here. By default, uh, a doc is private unless you share it in a, a create it in a public folder. Um, other than that, you can see again kind of standard menu options up here. Um, you got you got uh, one layered menu up here, and then you got another layer of menus down here. If you look at this little uh, drop down arrow up here, you can see that I can kind of hide my menus. I know sometimes that confuses people if they're if they're not seeing the right menu. You can see that back and forth. Another thing that be can kind of be confusing a little bit is your menu may look a little different than mine. So watch as I as I actually take my browser window and if I change the size, you can see some menu uh, I, some items are disappearing off of my menu. They're still there. I just have to click under uh, the third dots. The three dots. If I expand it out again, those other menu items um, will pop up. Um, uh, some, some, in case you are looking um, for anything, you know, insertion, there's a lot of different options under here uh, as far as that you can insert an image, which is actually really cool because you could directly do it from searching the web. Um, and you could uh, insert ju search just um, any image from there. Um, and then uh, click it right in there. And all of these I images are, are free to use. Um, and so you can, that's pretty cool. You can insert it from the web. I'm go ahead and insert the image, change the size. Um, some other things you can see, I can insert special characters. I can access my header or my page number, um, you know, links, comments. There's some other things in there, but I think it's really cool to be able to insert an image. Um, another thing I want to point out is, of course, uh, spell check is a pretty standard feature and grammar. I like Mario brothers very much period and so as you know again that you have the uh, red lines under there and I can just come over here and I can click uh, the A and the check and that's gonna give me um, spell and grammar check and um, that's definitely uh, definitely something I appreciate um, as as well uh, I can uh, change fonts right up here and one of the cool things is I have all these fonts here but I can actually access more fonts as well and so if I'm a font person, I mean, there's a ton of Google fonts. They're all free. They're all easy um, to um, install. Uh, one of the ones I've been open using lately has been this Open Sans. I just can click it and then OK. And that becomes one of my font options, which I, I think is uh, pretty awesome. Um, another cool feature about this is, is leaving comments. So for example, if, if uh, um, I want to leave a comment maybe um, for myself or somebody else I can highlight this and you can see there's a comment bubble over here it says add a comment and maybe I just need to add more detail 
um, come back later to work on this. Another cool thing is actually I can um, I can tag other people in comments. Um, and so um, let's say I want to share this document with somebody because I want to do some work with them on this. And so I'm going to go ahead and share this with uh, Benjamin Cogswell. And I'm going to share it with him as edit. Um, I can give him those other sharing permissions. But I'm going to go ahead and share with Benjamin Cogswell um, on this. And so once I've shared it with him, I can actually um, tag him in a, in a comment. So I select this picture and I can just go ahead and click uh, the comment here and uh, type either the at or the plus symbol plus. Oh, there he is, Benjamin Cogswell. Do you like this picture? Um, and then I can go ahead and comment and then Benjamin Cogswell will see that comment. Um, other than that, I, I think um, just kind of hovering over the individual items up here, you can see uh, what they do um, to uh, the those different components. As you can see also here, if I have an image clicked on, my menu is different than when I click on words. Again, see the image, like for example, you see this crop tool up here. If I click on the words, I have uh, image formatting options for those words. And so you're, again, your menu may change depending upon what you have clicked on and depending upon how wide or narrow uh, your browser window is. Other than that, if you've used any uh, word processing uh, features, a lot of them are the same. Um, the last thing I want to point out is um, just the location of this document. If you look up here, you can see there's a folder uh, up here. And so when I click on that folder, I can actually see where the document is located. Um, I can, um, if I want to move it from here, um, and if I want to move it from here into a new folder, I can actually create a folder right here. And then um, once I create that folder, I can move it into the folder. Another, uh, and I, as you can see, I can undo that um, if I want to. The other cool thing is that if I click on this folder over here, I can actually open up the folder uh, to where the document was at. And so you can see I open, opened up the folder, and it is in my second folder, which is in Google Training, which is in my drive. Um, hopefully this helps uh, a little bit of an overview of uh, Google Docs. Um, the best way to learn how to use it is to get in there and try it. Uh, like all Google tools, if I ever, um, if I ever need help on um, Google Docs, it is simply just a search away. And so uh, just see the help button down here and then you can actually search. And so you can go to Google Docs help. And so if you need help with a uh, specific like printing it or, um, or organizing pages, it's all there. Um, again, um, anytime you need help, simply a click away. So I uh, hope this helps. Again, this is an overview of Google Docs. And um, as always, you can rewatch this video uh, and pause it as you need to in case you missed anything. There's a lot more that Google Docs can do, but this is a good start.